All right, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Ben from ProFixer, and I wanted to show you kind of our technique in our store that we use for cleaning iPad LCDs. I've seen a lot of questions going around about people asking, you know, how do you clean an LCD once it, you know, gets fingerprints or whatnot on it? The main thing is, is don't ever get it dirty because um, they're very easy to scratch. Um, it's just something you never want to, you know, have to do. But if you find yourself in the situation where you have to clean it, um, I prepared this LCD so that I'm um, kind of walk you through a couple steps that may help you out. And this is what we do in our store. So basically I've added a little piece of adhesive right here. And um, if we can, you know, focus on that a little bit better. But um, so basically on this particular piece, I put it on there, put some alcohol in there to kind of get the adhesive, you know, gunk or whatnot. Um, but basically just carefully um, peel it off. You can use your fingers. I wouldn't use any kind of metal um, tweezers. If you have plastic tweezers, those would work perfect. Um, but basically at this point, you have all the, you know, gunk around here that's, you know, whatever. I just did that. Um, but your LCD may be pretty gross. So get a Q-tip, put some alcohol on it. And what you'll do is uh, work, in, work it into the surface of the LCD a little bit. Um, of course, if you have any glass shards in there, make sure you get those out. Um, blow it with some canned air. Um, but you'll want to make sure that you loosen up all the adhesive uh, little bits. And what you'll do here is, uh, you know, once you're dragging across, after you've gotten all the adhesive loosened, you know, rotate your Q-tip backwards a little bit. This will basically keep any of those bits from resurfacing onto the LCD. Um, so basically what you got here now is you have a clean LCD right there um, And then you need to clean up all the fingerprints and things like that around it. We found that these little uh, uh, Microfiber cloths work really really good. We got this in a cell helmet uh, Screen clean box and we sell these in store. So we got a bunch of them laying around um, But basically uh, just using standard Windex yeah, it would be fine in a situation like this. It seems to cut the grease from fingers and from, um, you know, whatever kind of smudge a little bit better. Uh, so just take the cloth and, you know, carefully just go around the edges. Don't want to push too hard. Once again, you want to make sure that you've already blown off the LCD to ensure that there's no uh, bits of dust or glass or dirt on the screen. Um, what you'll do is you'll probably see that there's still a little bit of streaks in there. That's okay because what you'll do is you'll come back and you will kind of buff those out a little bit. And if your cloth is a little bit dirty, you'll track those back in. So make sure you use a clean cloth or a clean section of your cloth. Um, but, um, but as you can kind of see here, we have a new clean LCD. And so this one is um, a used LCD couple scratches and things like that on it. You can see this particular one right here. Uh, but everything else, you know, zoom in or focusing across the LCD, it all looks like it is, um, you know, perfectly clean. You can't see any of the smudges anymore or anything like that except for a few of the scratches that were in here because it's just a parts LCD. But hopefully this helps you out. It's not as hard as, you know, a lot of people make it out to be. But once you know the technique of um, using a little bit of Windex to cut the grease and then buffing out a little bit of the... Um, a uh, little bit of leftover residue from the Windex, nah, then you'll have a pretty clean LCD. But what you want to do first before using any kind of Windex is make sure you clean up any of those um, adhesive spots to get any of that adhesive goo off of there because that will just track all over the LCD and you'll be drawing lines everywhere. But hopefully this helped, and uh, see you on the next one.